Okay, no problem. Yeah. Mohamed said that you, uh, you are done with your pre-inspection. I mean, by far, tell us your observation. Yeah, first of all, I uh, would like to thank uh, the GFF, uh, the Ministry, for the invitation. I think this was an important mission. Uh, wait, in, a, in our waiting list, we were very expectant, expecting to, to come here and to see the, the work, the progress that has been made. Uh, you know, there is a Gambia on the sporting field. Uh, there is a lot of positive results uh, in the national teams. Uh, and uh, we are, know that we are aware that, you know, uh, they haven't been playing at home, so we were really expecting uh, to get this invitation to come and see the, all the works being done at home, so that uh, so that the national team uh, can can come back and, and, and play play their, their matches here uh, at uh, at the Independence Stadium. So today was a working day with all the the counterparts, the focal points in the stadium, uh, GFF, Ministry, con contractors. Uh, basically a preliminary inspection uh, already looking into the uh, you know to the coming months to have a, 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 an approval of the stadium so this is a normal routine for CAF we check at the invitation of, of the Federation we come and we do an assessment just to make sure that all the works all the, the requirements all the, 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 the standards that CAF uh, puts in place uh, through its regulations are there are met so today we were able to, to do a full visit. Uh, I think it took us uh, at least uh, three hours or four hours. So uh, we went on all the sites, all the areas to verify. Uh, of course, there's, there's always comments and remarks and that's what we have done and everyone has followed. And uh, the idea is now uh, to prepare a report and to, to work around that report in order to, 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 to meet the CAP requirements. What have been some of the major objectives? So um, I would say, for example, uh, there were matters in relation to the accessibility uh, of, uh, of the players, of the media, so uh, we wanted to ensure that uh, all these points were, were taken care of and uh, for ex uh, as a basic example, uh, you know, we, in, in modern stadiums today we need to ensure that uh, players have their own entrance, uh, media have their own entrance to its facilities, VIP their own entrance and exit so there's no clash of, of, of the different spectators also so this was one of the, 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 the remarks and along with the contractors, with the stadium management, uh, we together we were trying to find alternative solutions uh, and uh, I think we did so and this is what we will, we will mention in the report. The other matter which is key and crucial is the whole environment around the stadium. Uh, we know that there are still works going on, we understand it, but it's important to ensure not only the competition area, the sporting areas, but ensuring the environment around the stadium, the access, the gates, uh, the external perimeter, the walls, all of these areas has to be completed and right to the, to, to, to the best standards possible. Today it's not only about the 90 minutes, it's all about also the fan experience. You know, we want the fans, the media, the spectators, everyone when they come to the stadium, they are safe, they are secure, uh, there is uh, uh, all the access and, uh, you know, we spoke about the electronic uh, turnstile. So there are several points that we've mentioned. We understand that there are certain works still on point, but this, is, this was the objective of the mission to, for CAF to come to do this uh, preliminary session, uh, assessment and to and to provide more recommendations. Like uh, the external perimeter, is that a major ob obligation before an yes. approval? Can yes, be definitely. Whatever is outside the external perimeter, it is a major obligation. Uh, you would understand that from a safety and security perspective, CAF cannot uh, really approve a stadium that does not guarantee uh, safety from all perspectives. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, the external perimeter you know, I give an example. There are some other countries that even the roads, without proper roads leading to the stadium, we don't approve the stadium. So this really needs to be taken care of uh, so that the stadium can be uh, approved from all standpoints. As an expert in this area, are you hopeful that this will be works will be completed in time? I mean. On your next visit? Well, uh, the ball is always on the side of the, the local authorities, obviously. Uh, from our side, from CAF, 
we 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 would really uh, be we would be very happy if uh, obviously uh, we have the next window which is September. Uh, it's the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier, the match day six, and I think it's also crucial for for Gambia as for many other nations. So uh, for, we would be very very excited and delighted if uh, the stadium could be approved by then. But as I said. We also have certain deadlines, timelines for to approve the stadium. We, uh, so it's all uh, dependent on the, the 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 works that are remaining to do and all the observations that we made. So uh, it's it's uh, the ball is on the side of, of or it's basically on your side to to complete. And and yes, we have to believe from our side that you uh, you know all the works will be completed on time. When will be the next inspection? So uh, as a principle. We normally start the assessment of the stadiums uh, at least uh, two, three months before the match day. So uh, a circular will be sent already in the coming uh, in the coming weeks to all the national associations, including GFF, where we will provide uh, a timeline for all the national associations to send to CAF their preference. Uh, so it means that you know uh, late. Uh, let's say beginning of August, uh, which is just in a couple of weeks, uh, this, all the venues for the match day six must be confirmed, which is at minimum one month before the, the window. So, yes, it's a tight timeline, but uh, I, have, I have received assurances and guarantees from all the authorities, the ministry, the, the, the stadium contractors, the management, GFF, that they are working day and night to, to meet all of the, the final uh, work, so that's what happens. Finally, what is your message to the, uh, all the stakeholders involved? Yeah, so this is positive times. I think this is one of the, <laughs> the rocks that was missing here, which is the stadium, uh, because from all other perspectives, you know, uh, GFF uh, programs, uh, national teams, everything is moving, you know, at, at a good pace. You were just uh, at the FIFA U20 World Cup. Congratulations for that. So I think the only piece now, the, the key piece was to have a national stadium. So I think uh, uh, it's, you've, you've had already a lot of patience uh, in this. So now it's just a matter of time, I believe. From what I've seen here, it's a matter of time till you will start to have your national teams back into, into, um, into your, your home ground. All right, thank you. The, the press tribune needs to be moved to another area and it needs a lot of work that needs to be done. The other one is just the turnstile, which is a long time. So he has given us short term and long term. So we need to start working on the short term things to get the approval and the long term can be done afterwards. So uh, what assurance can you give for uh, me to do Well, I think everybody Every the ministry, the GFF, sports council, stadium, all Gambians want us to play here. And the ministry is doing everything possible to make sure we play here. That's why we are hopeful and we will continue working hard to make sure that uh, some of the sort of things that needs to be done for them to get the approval. Because we need that approval, either one match approval, temporal approval, so that we are able to play our home match. Uh, that, that can be able to qualify to the AFCON. So we, we work on that and I don't think uh, the Ministry will ever think of that we don't even want to play outside. We want to play at home because it's more expensive playing outside than playing home. So everything is now geared towards playing home and we'll try to meet. That's why it, the preliminary uh, uh, inspection was needed. So that we'll be able to know some of the areas that we need, that we are supposed to work on. And we'll work on those areas, meet, meet some of the deadlines, and then for the long term ones, we'll do it after our final set. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Marcel, you are here representing the government entirely. You find, you've seen things by yourself. I mean, tell us your observations and impressions. Thank you, thank you so much. I want to first of all thank God for this day. This is a day that uh, we for the future. We are happy that um, CAF honored our invitation to come to this uh, preliminary uh, day uh, inspection. Uh, we are quite happy um, so far, so good. We actually invited all the to come to this uh, uh, so that we can have an idea of what we can do. Because uh, for the government, 
government and I'm very sure for the government and the population. Uh, we all want to play here. Uh, whatever the case, we want to play here. And that is why uh, we could not wait for the fire inspection. We could not wait for the car to come. So we requested that they come so that they can look at what we have done so far. And uh, even if there is anything that we need to import, we can make an analysis after which we want to ensure that it's done before even they come for the fire inspection. So by the time they come for the fire inspection, uh, we would have gotten uh, almost everything. With regards to the recommendations made, I mean, how is the government going to work with the stakeholders to ensure that I mean, all those uh, requirements are fulfilled in time before the second decision? We are very committed to ensuring that um, all the recommendations done by Mr. Sidan uh, are fulfilled and are worked on. Uh, some of them are long term, uh, some of them are short term. And I can assure you that um, uh, the majority of those that are short term are not anything that we do. We are very confident that uh, by the time they come for the final inspection, uh, all of those things will be done and work on. Ultimately, what is the message of the government to the Gambian people? Well, this is something that uh, we all want. Uh, uh, all Gambians and even non Gambians, residents of the Gambia, you know, should be part of this edition, whatever it is in the general. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of fortune that is being invested. So we need to work with people. It's not time the business of the ministry alone, the business of the council, or the independent stadium, or the theatre. I mean, everybody who comes here should be a police uh, in court, so that the, anywhere you see anybody doing something that um, you know, will cause damage to any equipment here, any fitting here, then you can caution them. You know, we don't have to wait for the police to come, we don't have to wait for any security. All of us should be secured so that we can protect whatever it is in here, because it is, we all know. Uh, how much it costs us to, to have this renovation done. And I'm um, already thinking about having another stadium. So we need to do well with this one so that some um, partners and everyone that is more than the president of the stadium. So I want to call on everybody so that when we come here on the 4th of September, God willing to play, uh, we all go by the instructions. Like I said in some earlier interviews, uh, things will work out. Uh, you can just come in and walk in any house, do anything. You know, we have chairs all over, you know, so people to come and step on them and walk on them and you know, things like that. Uh, we have um, no fittings from the toilets and everywhere. You know, so we really, really want to call on everybody to, to kindly cooperate with us, kindly cooperate with the society, uh, cooperate with the organizing community and that we